welcome you to this episode on how to prepare a budget i am prasenjit ghosh associate professor in srfti in producing department and today i have with me mr pratyush kotha he is a final year student in producing department so before we start this discussion i'd like to tell you a story which i always tell them that my understanding of budget actually started when i moved into the hostel of fti so my father used to send me money of x amount and uh, i have to pay my mess bill my laundry and there are other sundry expenses but the problem started when i started seeing a girl my girlfriend because then there has to be some night out there has to be some gift on their on <laughs> her birthdays so actually then i understood that how to juggle with figures because the x amount of money will be x amount and i have to manage with that amount only so as we all know that pre production is a very important part of the producing process <clears throat> and budgeting is it plays a vital role not only in pre production but it has a very important role in throughout the filmmaking process mm -hmm. so now let's try to understand what do we mean by this word budgeting so pratyush can you define what is budgeting budget actually defines uh, what can and cannot be accomplished for a film uh, budget plays very vital role in determining the scope of a film uh, is it a small budget film and or is it a big star blockbuster or uh, based on the budget uh, you can actually uh, set a tone for a film uh, how uh, how are you going to release the film and what is the uh, in, in what kind of criteria this film is uh, classified to and basically without a budget uh, there will be no end for spending in a film if we need to approach for funds for making a film or if you want to pitch a, a good script to someone the first thing the studio or any producer that expects is uh, any financier for that matter will expect is to have a estimated budget uh, without a budget it is like uh, dancing in the dark you can't say that you know this is the scope for my film uh, it is it is similar to uh, constructing a house you ca when you are constructing your own house you first understand what is the what is the area that you need what is the area what is the place and what are the things that you need you know like Uh, your uh, construction workers, your material, mm -hmm. uh, and so on, so on so forth. So you will have an estimate uh, before you start actually start building your house. And based on that estimate, you can also approach for the loan, or you can also approach to how to raise the funds from where you can get the funds. Is it uh, within my budget to build certain scope of a house, or do I need to scale down to make it a smaller house? So. Uh, these are the factors in, in a similar way these are the similar factors that affects the budget in a film making too absolutely correct pratyush yeah. and actually budget of a film is the financial implications of all its elements mm. and the personnel mm -hmm. which is required to execute the script yes sir so the script mm -hmm. and the understanding and assessment of the script mm -hmm. plays a very vital role in yes, determining sir. the budget yes sir so we generally say that a script decision becomes a budget decision yeah true so uh, can you uh, tell us hmm. that if we include a chase sequence hmm. uh in in a script hmm. so what will be the budgetary implication hmm. chase is not something that you shoot on a day to day basis for a film so it is a very special requirement and depending on the uh, scope for that chase you need to have a special stunt stunt masters mm -hmm. there should be a separate crew for that shoot and you need to get special permissions to shoot on location for those kind of a shoots you need to get a lot of fire and uh, other safety permissions as well as you need to have an onboard uh, medical unit on the set uh, or on the location when you are shooting this so these all has to be uh, budgeted separate, uh, separately once you are done with your script and you think that this chase is an vital part of the film and it is quite essential for, uh, mostly for the action films and all that they have a separate budget uh, allocated for this uh, particular stunts because it is highly risk taking 
and the contingency uh, they have a lot of contingency for these kind of a shoots mm -hmm. so there is a, it is uh, extremely essential that you need to uh, budget it separately but within the allocated budget so that is where the producer and the line producer they come into scene and they manage it where they can cut down in other places and they can push for the uh, chase sequence or any other special effects for that matter yeah absolutely right because a simple script decision can create a havoc in, mm. in terms of budgeting. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see uh, what are the main uh, features of a budget. As we all know that it is actually the kind of revenue or the kind of mm -hmm. receipts you receive mm -hmm. and the planned expenditure. Mm -hmm. So as you said that, mm -hmm. that the kind of budget you get, mm -hmm. the film will be decided on that. Mm -hmm. So whether it is a big budget film mm -hmm. or a low budget film. Mm -hmm. The number two, which is very important in terms of budget, mm -hmm. that is it has to have a time period or duration. Mm -hmm. Because in life everything changes. Mm -hmm. So also the rates. rates. Yeah. The rates for everything is going to change. Mm -hmm. So if you pitch your budget today mm -hmm. and you get your approval after mm -hmm. six months, mm -hmm. your budget may not be viable at that point of time. Mm -hmm. I can give you one example, mm -hmm. because I was working in a film in Bombay, which mm -hmm. was being produced by NFDC. Mm -hmm. So that film got the green light uh, in 1991. Mm -hmm. So we started work. Mm -hmm. And then after a point, mm -hmm. uh, it got stalled. Mm -hmm. So it started after five years. Mm -hmm. So not only the enthusiasm gone, but also the whole mm -hmm. figure game has changed. Mm -hmm. So it was really difficult for that filmmaker mm -hmm. to complete the film. Mm -hmm. The another aspect uh, which is very important in terms of budget is it has to be very flexible. Mm -hmm. As you said, mm -hmm. there has to be scope for reallocation. Mm -hmm. Because the decisions by the director, mm -hmm. by a lot of uh, the creative heads, mm -hmm. do change all the time. Mm -hmm. So that flexibility has to be inbuilt in, in the budget. Mm -hmm. There is another thing which is which one should uh, keep in mind when making the budget. It has to be very uh, easily readable. Mm -hmm. It should be uh, comprehensible for everybody. Mm -hmm. So these are the aspects uh, which, which has to have in a budget. Mm -hmm. So there are various uh, stages in budgeting. So can you uh, define the, the different stages of budgeting? Yes, sir. basically we can classify uh, the budget into four kinds of budget. Uh, the one is ballpark uh, budget, uh, the other is uh, development budget, and then there is working budget, and the final one is the locked budget or the final budget. Ballpark budget is the first phase of actual budgeting. You know, as soon as uh, a script uh, gets approved, the producer uh, along with the team, he uh, does a basic breakdown, uh, very, very rough estimate of uh, how much budget uh, is it going to take to make this film. So th this will become very important uh, to pitch the film Correct. to financiers or uh, to the studios uh, to get the funding. You know, mm -hmm. uh, So th this helps as a guideline uh, for the studio to estimate, okay, this okay, we can uh, sanction this much of a budget for this script. Mm -hmm. The second is uh, the development budget. The development budget happens once your script has been uh, approved and uh, at least you have certain heads confirmed, a certain actor confirmed that he'll be working f for this project and a certain technician confirmed or at least roughly when you're starting uh, your pre-production. Mm -hmm. um, this also includes the rights that you get for the story, the screen, uh, screen rights. Uh, different type different of different kinds rights. of rights like is whether is it's an option or you are getting the rights outright so right. these all include in the uh, development budget and all the uh, above the line um, indicator uh, above the line personnel like a producer director right. uh, now it is cinematographer and editor too mm -hmm. uh, all these uh, are accounted in at this stage the development phase at this stage the budget evolves from the ballpark budget 
and it will give much more little bit clearer picture about how the spending will happen how the allocation can happen to different departments uh, like we were talking about the special effects so is there any of those in, uh, required mm -hmm. all those decisions will be uh, incorporated during the development phase and uh, in the working but, but does it include clear uh, but does it include also, uh, the setting up of, of, of the office, yes, sir. because you are in the initial stages, yes. and also the uh, legal uh, costs, because yeah. initially you need yeah. to do registration and all that. Yeah, it, it includes all the um, legalities, and it includes all the financials, as well as uh, broadly the logistics, uh, not complete logistics, maybe an estimate of the uh, total logistics. Uh, it includes all the legalities, setting up an office, getting the uh, accounts, getting your lawyers, um, and uh, this is the uh, basic rolling of your production office. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it includes all of these things. And uh, working budget is where finally once you get all your all your crew, all your actors, and all uh, your requirements, and once you uh, found out how much of equipment you will be needing, what mm -hmm. what kind of uh, setup you need to need, where to, where do you, where are you going to shoot, what are the permissions, how much you need to pay, and this becomes your working budget, and it keeps changing. Uh, little by day. little every day but uh, uh, the focus should be on not exceeding what is the overall uh, estimate of the budget the later uh, the final part is the final approved budget mm -hmm. or the locked budget this is where once you get everything in place all the departments all your heads and uh, all the crew and all the locations and your screen uh, shot breakdowns to everything is done at this time the lighting requirements the test shot everything has been done by this time so the final budget will be logged based on all these parameters and mm -hmm. this is the budget that you uh, go to uh, before, before the principal, before photography. The principal photography and mm -hmm. uh, this will be the guideline uh, once you start shooting uh, your project mm -hmm. of uh, your film so this uh, keeps changing when you're shooting because day to day there will be a different requirements on set and day to day there might be some uh, something that uh, are not predictable but uh, th this is where the producer juggles the sheets and he figures out where I can cut down mm -hmm. and where I can add or mm -hmm. where I can remove and where I can put more and uh, he, he has to keep in mind that the final allocated budget should not vary much uh, mm -hmm. based on all these constraints. So basically uh, we, we can make out that budget is, is a process which is continuously happening. Hmm. It, is, it is not a very static process. No. And uh, one has to uh, really juggle with the figures. Mm -hmm. One has to really understand the need of the script. Mm -hmm. And accordingly, mm -hmm. they have to put things together mm -hmm. and make way within the budget which is given for mm -hmm. the film. Mm -hmm. So, Pratish, can you uh, tell us? Who actually prepares the budget? In the initial stages, uh, it can be initiated actually by the produce or here we have uh, executive producer as we call and along with the line producer and the production manager uh, because they are much more aware of the uh, guild rates, uh, the union rates and the equipment rates and everything along with them based on uh, your complete script and based on your requirements and based on your respective heads requirements. Uh, these three are the ones who actually prepare the estimated budget mm -hmm. which evolves and then later on uh, will be approved by the studio and uh, the chief uh, ADs also do have a say, a, in this. say in this they also have a copy of this budget which they uh, keep according to their shooting schedule and their requirements so this can be matched and everybody in the same page basically there, there is uh, a lot of uh, juggling around w w which happens uh, yes. when, when the budget is prepared mm -hmm. and, uh, and and a lot of uh, elements which, mm -hmm. which is unforeseen mm -hmm. needs to be put into the budget yeah. because the, uh, when, when you are shooting, mm -hmm. uh, if you are not aware mm -hmm. that what is going to come, mm -hmm. that you have to provide for yeah. when the director will ask for it. Yeah, because uh, like uh, say natural disasters like a, uh, um, uncontrollable situations like a rain uh, if you are shooting an outdoor location and suddenly it started raining but your script doesn't require any rain that day mm -hmm. so it is like you say let's say one day has been lost so there is a, there's a certain amount of money already been uh, allocated in the contingency uh, unless and until it is a very huge kind of a disaster where you have to wrap up and come back and decide on the sh budget and schedule again there is always around to 10 to 15 percent contingency of the budget kept for these kind of scenarios mm -hmm. 
So since we have already discussed uh, quite a bit regarding uh, how the budget mm -hmm. uh, looks like and mm -hmm. what are the things get into the budget, mm -hmm. so we should now concentrate more uh, on uh, how it actually looks on page. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have uh, the header, header yeah. uh, which which uh, contains all the critical mm -hmm. informations, yeah. like what is the format we are going to shoot, what mm -hmm. will be the ratio, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes you give the number of shooting days as well, mm -hmm. so that that indicates mm -hmm. anyone who is looking at the budget mm -hmm. can make out mm -hmm. that whether the estimates are realistic. Mm -hmm. So realistic budget is is a very important uh, aspect when you're making a budget yes because there is no point uh, giving a very inflated figure mm -hmm. or uh, overestimating uh, mm -hmm. of some some of the costs mm -hmm. because you will be uh, easily caught mm -hmm. so that is that header mm -hmm. actually indicates mm -hmm. so what is the basis of making that budget mm -hmm. so can you tell us about uh, what comes after the header so uh, before that i would like to say uh, Inflating the budget when you're pitching it for a studio will never help because the studio or the, the finances, they have their own way of evaluating the budget and the script and uh, they uh, can easily understand if everything is getting into production or you, is everything accounted for mm. and from making copies of your script to your logistics to your travel boarding and everything. Uh, from your final digital print or negative print, everything has been accounted for. So they, there is itemized and they itemize, categorize and everything, uh, all the departments respectively. Mm -hmm. So the budget to be realistic is absolutely important. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so uh, can you tell us about uh, the top sheet of the budget? Yes, sir. after your budget header, there is a budget top sheet, which is uh, like a one or two page excel sheet or there are some softwares which some studios use mm -hmm. uh, it basically doesn't have all the details of the budget but it gives you uh, the exact amount of certain partic particular uh, category like say uh, camera uh, and cinema uh, lights mm -hmm. so it will be under one header and it says the amount that is required without showing you the entire calculations mm -hmm. so it, like this it has the production cost it has the travel cost, the logistics cost, actors cost, uh, all your um, costs uh, separated into categories and the figure that it is going to take. So it's and basically the concise form of, of the total each budget. head. Yeah, each head. Yeah. And it, it gives you all the legal, um, uh, the contingency, uh, your backups, mm -hmm. uh, your post-production and everything accounted for in this. And it is just to look. Uh, at one go and you can understand okay this is what are the categories that we are spending on this this is this much amount is what we are going to be spending on certain categories of this budget along with the top sheet there is always a detailed budget of this particular categories attached to it mm -hmm. so uh, top sheet is just uh, to understand quickly how much it is going to uh, happen so it's at a glance you can at a make glance out. you can make out uh, how much you are going to uh, spend so basically uh, this header Mm -hmm. the top sheet mm -hmm. and then this top sheet will be uh, elaborated yeah it, it, it is connected to other sheets which yes. actually expands into all the all the heads heads so what is the contingency you are talking about huh. the role of contingency in making a budget mm -hmm. and also nowadays the element of service tax mm -hmm. so how do you account for that because mm -hmm. uh, as i have uh, seen mm -hmm. quite a number of people have made mistakes mm -hmm. uh, not adding the service tax mm -hmm. and they have actually mm -hmm. uh, the, the major portion of budget has been taken out mm -hmm. because the service tax will be taken out because in the top sheet mm -hmm. itself once you uh, get through all your categories and uh, there is a certain amount uh, that you get you will get your final uh, figure of this is the total budget so now the tax will be calculated based on these uh, the total figure mm -hmm. and that is also include that is added to the your uh, already estimated budget so now you can get arrive at the final budget and uh, you need to be careful while adding this uh, service tax because the service tax is uh, not applicable to all the parameters and what do you understand but because we generally refer all the time this ATL and BTL. Mm -hmm. So what is this ATL and BTL? So ATL, it is actually above the line and below the line. Uh, above the line is where all your heads, like your producer, uh, your director, director cinematographer, uh, and your editor, and all these heads come into. 
because um, the payment is the lump sum basically payment is lump sum based on a project and uh, uh, it is like you can pay them in 2 3 4 uh, installments. installments as you, you keep shooting but the final figure would be all, almost the same for uh, based on your agreements and all those so it is we can say that it is a one payment which can be paid at once or in some installments but the final figure will be the same btl is uh, below the line uh, which is you hire people on day to day basis say for example you are uh, you are hiring light boys Uh, you don't need all the 50 or 60 light uh, uh, light boys throughout your shoot mm-hmm. so th- certain days you need probably 10 certain days probably you need 15 uh, based on the requirements so it keeps changing as per your schedule and as per your requirements and as per the budget so that th- that is the difference between the above the line and below the line so basically uh, above the line is 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 those people who are taking a fat uh, salary check yeah and and these people which, who are below the line yeah they are daily wages daily yeah daily and as per uh, small like in that special stunt case we spoke about they come for only certain your your stunt schedule say mm-hmm. a week of stunt so they come only during that one week and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. all these kind of things come in your t- uh, below the line so the top sheet Sure. which is which is a very important uh, aspect of uh, budgeting mm-hmm. and which is generally used for pitching a film mm-hmm. because not all your producers is is going to look at your detailed budget mm-hmm. they will first look at the top sheet mm-hmm. so this top sheet actually uh, has different templates mm-hmm. so fox has a different template yeah, everybody has yeah, yeah shraj will have a different, different template. template yeah so i'll just read out some of the important heads mm-hmm. of the top sheet so basically as we have discussed the total above the line we have the story rights continuity mm-hmm. producers unit mm-hmm. then the direction team mm-hmm. then we have cast mm-hmm. we can have a huge amount mm-hmm. spent on cast mm-hmm. and even in in hollywood the mm-hmm. writers take a quite huge, a b- big huge. chunk of yeah. of the money yeah. and they generally also use that uh, travel and living mm-hmm. which is called tbl i TBL, believe travel boarding and yeah. yeah so that is also there in above the line mm-hmm. and in below the line as we have discussed mm-hmm. we have the production stuff mm-hmm. we have extra talent mm-hmm. the extras, extras which you generally yeah. uh, call them then we have set design mm-hmm. set construction mm-hmm. set operations mm-hmm. special effects mm-hmm. special effects also sometimes as we have discussed, discussed yeah. that that film spiderman spiderman yeah so the quite quite a big chunk was spent on on yeah. the special effects yeah then we have set dressing property wardrobe makeup there are number of he- heads mm-hmm. and it, it's a the requirement which you cannot avoid mm-hmm. and there will be also the legal costs yeah. uh, there will be contingency mm-hmm. and in uh, hollywood films they have this completion bond completion bond yeah so that is also a percentage of the yeah. budget what are the things required Mm-hmm. to make a budget uh, you need to do the basic script breakdown break it down to all the requirements that it is all the elements all the elements that are required uh, from your locations to cast to costumes to everything that you can from the script e- even the, the stunts script, or even the stunts uh, to special effects special effects special equipment equipment everything everything that is requ- uh, written in the script you just break break them down according to the category and then uh, based on that you estimate like say if i'm uh, uh, let's say if i'm in talk with a particular actor mm-hmm. uh, and you are more or less convinced that he or a similar kind of an ac- actor will be acting in this film so you estimate your budget based on his previous or average charges that uh, average rates that he is charging Mm-hmm. uh in the in the industry the same way you estimate uh, okay i would be requiring this location for these many days uh, so include your contingency and then say i need this location for like say 15 days so you you just call upon uh, the production managers and you find out what was the last time they paid a rent for this or if it is they're renting it out for the first time how much it would uh, a rough estimate you call mm-hmm. them and ask we are trying we are planning to do so and so if uh, can you give us an estimate so we have to submit a budget based on that mm-hmm. so y- you call everyone you call all your requirements and then you arrive at a ballpark figure saying that okay this might be the realistic way of actually giving uh, the budget for the pitching 
So actually, you are collating. Yeah. You are actually collecting all the data. Yeah. Because as you as you remember that uh, when you used to do in in your uh, mm -hmm. classes <laughs> that we used to uh, take all the the, the light supplier, suppliers, then camera suppliers. Yeah. Then we also also used to check the location. What will be the uh, cost. Uh, cost of the location? location yeah. Then what will be the remuneration of each uh, technician? Yeah. And depending on their uh, requirement, mm -hmm. you actually multiply. Yeah. So it's a lot of maths. Yeah. It's a lot of calculation you have to make depending yeah. on the script yeah. and the requirement of the script. Yeah. So that is a huge uh, uh, process actually. It's it's not not a, not a thing which can be done in two hours. No, sir. it takes time and uh, it involves a lot of logic. It usually is the logic that defines these kind of a things. So actually, we have more or less discussed. Uh, the process, how the budget is prepared, mm -hmm. and hopefully the student uh, who, who are listening to this mm -hmm. will be able to do it themselves. Yeah. But it actually requires a, quite a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. And there are certain factors, mm -hmm. for instance, the format, mm -hmm. for instance, the special effects if you're using in, in, in your film. So these are the things you should, you should actually look into mm -hmm. because it, it can actually mm -hmm. uh, d make a huge difference to your film. Mm -hmm. So, so, so understanding of budget mm -hmm. is the most important criteria yes. to actually materialize your dream film. Yeah. So, it, it is absolutely important to have a budget in your mind when you're uh, focusing on a script. Uh, so, when you're taking it for a production, without the budget, it, it is almost impossible to get any funds uh, to make your film. Okay, uh, that's all we have for today. And I hope uh, the way we have discussed and we have gone into the details of all the elements of budget, uh, someday uh, or the, some listeners will come up with a brilliant budget and produce a brilliant film.